Hello and welcome to a quick new video. I'm Philip Hartenfiller, product lead at United Codes, and today we're going to look at how we can tweak GitHub Copilot to respect our um, standards. Okay, so I just created a small, simple um, folder and I have some AMP and DEP tables in here. And also now I want to create a procedure and I actually want to do it with GitHub Copilot. So I open that and uh, notice I'm going to use the agent mode that's being able to write and read files automatically. Always um, make sure like uh, if it's like it should reference the table. So I also drag the tables file in here so it can look it up. And then I'm just pasting uh, a command, a prompt, please write a procedure that raises the salary of all employees of a specific debt no by a given percentage. So just Claude and um, let's get started. And, uh, and we can see here that, um, yeah, we already get a result. It's looking good, create a replace procedure, parameters in there, count. Yeah, it's counting, saying that the debt no doesn't even exist. So, but there are also a few things uh, I don't like, for example, so first, like it does commit and rollback. Um, we don't need transactions if we want to use it from Apex. Apex already handles this and it's ba actually bad practice to use this. Then here we, we have some logging in here with dbmis output put line. I don't, I don't like that. I, I want to use Apex debug, for example. Um, luckily, like the style is already nice. I'm pro lowercase everything. And um, sometimes you can see Copilot co like uppercasing some of the, uh, the things. Maybe it already learned from me. And I like the L underscore prefix for local variables and not V. Um, sometimes it does V, so it's not consistent. So yeah, what we can do to make this even more consistent and like to, to handle these things better is uh, provide a file. So first let me actually clear this again. And then we can create a new folder in here and call it .github. And then we can create a new file in here called copilotinstructions.md. I'm going to paste something in here. So it's just a markdown file with some key uh, bullet points. So lower case all keywords and then with two spaces format queries like this. And it's like some, yeah, how I like my um, queries formatted, additional guidelines um, should have exception handling with Apex debug error, yeah. This is referred to this file for table definitions. Um, parameters should have the prefix and lower local parameter. This use Apex debug info for logging and don't use commit and rollback. Okay, so this file now always should be taken into account by GitHub Copilot. So again, paste this in. Same prompt, let's try again. Let's see if it's better now. So actually you can see here, based on the file structure and MPU, write this procedure following the Oracle SQL, PL SQL guidelines you provided. So that's already showing that it's taken into account. You can already see like apex debug.info is in here. I can see we got like some uh, error handling here, which I pretty much like. And we, we yeah, use just this one. So there's one thing that's actually, um, off here. It's using SQL error message here, but not the backtrace. And actually, if I dis enable dblinter, that's one of our upcoming projects, uh, products, that's basically just analyzing your code here. You can see I already have like two issues. First one, like always use uh, character semantics. So I, I should have used char here, not just the number for bytes. And here it says, okay, you always want to like use backtrace here. Okay, the thing is now I want to, I want the point to get is um, if I again delete everything, paste the same prompt, it should now automatically also take these lint errors into account and fix them by itself. So let's try again. So we can see here, I need to fix compilation errors and actually now it added the format backtrace by itself and uh, it automatically added the char prompt here. That's also super cool that Copilot takes into account these, these code issues from dblinter. That makes the code quality immediately better where I don't even have to manually fix them. 